Hey everybody, thank you for watching Aim for Survival. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SOL Sport Utility Blanket. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we all like to get out and adventure, whether you're packing a bug out bag, an inch bag, possibly just a day pack, shelter is a very top priority concern. Now we've got here a lightweight option coming in at 11.3 ounces. We have a tarp by SOL. Now this tarp says it's six times stronger than the competitor's space blanket, reflects up to 95% of your body heat, it's windproof, waterproof, and again, ultra light and compact. Now this does pack down a little larger than its little brother we did a review on their space blanket and it was about four feet by six feet if less I'm mistaken Removing it from its package, I do want to note that it does have a Ziploc sealed bag. Comes out rather easy. It does have a layered Mylar system on here. Unrolling it definitely could be used as a signaling device in the form of reflection. It does mention that it has six reinforced grommets. They are sewn in looking at the back side. You can see there is a little bit of stitch work. Definitely would recommend taping your corners. We'll definitely do a video on modifying tarps again just to make sure it's fresh on everybody's mind. Opening it up, it is a rather large, bright orange on one side, reflective mylar on the other. They say this is strong enough to haul wood with. Again, I'd like to point out that it could be uses just a blanket in itself to help keep you warm. Let's see what kind of shelter we can make with it. With our ridgeline hung and this hanging over it, I want to talk about these corners. What I'm going to do is take a six foot loop of paracord, tying an overhand knot, again making a loop, taking the non-knotted end, running it through this little grommet. There are some tent pegs that will fit this, however if you had to improvise tent stakes, you probably couldn't. Coming in a little closer, you'll see the knots prevent it from coming through the grommet. Now on this side, I do want to be able to affix this to the ground if I need to. So all I'm going to do is create another overhand knot. This is similar to how I prep out my larger tarps as well. And again, now you have a loop and an adjustable tie out. So with our corners tied out, Next, I'm going to go ahead and use these orange tent stakes. Probably go ahead and add them to this kit afterwards. That way it is a full shelter kit when I'm done. Again, I put short tie outs on the back and longer tie out loops on the front. Okay guys, our first shelter configuration is pretty good. Again, this is slightly small. However, we could get under here and keep our entire body dry. Two people could fit under here pretty comfortable. This would be similar to a winter setup where you'd want to retain body heat. In the summer, however, you may want to have this just a little more exposed so that you can cool off. By taking something like a simple drum liner and adding it under here, we now have a waterproof layer. In case of a downpour, water will seep up through the ground. And again, more than enough space to get two people under here comfortable. I do want to point out that this orange side would make a great signal for overhead or from being found at a distance. Okay, after one shelter configuration, guys, looking at these grommets, there's another reason we don't like grommets. It's already starting to tear out. I don't know if you can see it here, but the grommet is already starting to tear. So you know what we're going to do with this, don't you? Okay. So what we've done is took a little bit of Gorilla Tape and we have covered the grommet's edge and covered it again 
around the outsides. This will be the stressing point. And again, guys, this is why I try to impress upon everybody to test your gear. Don't just buy something and think you're good to go. Another quick little side note. Again, we are using small loops on one side. Doing it just like we did on the other side. We are going to go ahead and run from the top. We're going to run the loop, leaving the knot on the orange side. Again, this gives us a, a little extra room to play with. However, we do need a spot to tie off with. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put an overhand knot in this. So now we have a cloth tie-out, or paracord tie-out, I should say. Okay, now in this configuration, we have the all broke loose, you're cold, you got to get low to the ground, and you got to retain body heat situation, guys. This little A-frame is just big enough for one person. What I've done is put a small drum liner at the bottom of it. And again, it's just enough for one person, two if you're cuddling. Hmm. Of course, just laying it out flat, it'll work as a good ground cloth, maybe for a picnic sitting on the beach. However, it also makes a great emergency signal from overhead rescue, possibly drape it alongside a hilltop and again project your signal with color, contrast, hang it up as a flag, possibly with movement. So again, many uses. Let's look at one more shelter configuration. Okay, our next shelter configuration is probably one of the most important for this time of year. Again, it is summer, 90 something degrees out here. We have retreated to the wood line, however, if we couldn't or if there wasn't much shade, we could provide shade. By turning that reflective side up, we could reflect the sun's radiant heat. Again, as you see, we can capture the breeze. If we were worried about a driving rain, we would turn this the opposite direction so that the rain and the wind would ramp up and over our shelter. Again, keeping the back end low to the ground. Now this one I think is much more comfortable for an outing. As you can see, I could sit up in it I could have two or three people sitting with me. The rain would be funneled both in front and behind and we could stay dry. Again, if it were a winter scenario, we could turn the silver side in, put a campfire in front of us and roll that heat around back to us. So again, it's a decent option for summer or winter scenarios. Well, here you have it guys. This has been my review of the SOL 5x7 space blanket. Out of the package, didn't have any cordage we did add our loops which again in this configuration could be untied and converted into a much taller shelter configuration it does have an orange side great for signaling it does have a reflective side that is also again great for signaling but it reflects heat in whichever direction it's facing so whether it's facing up reflecting the sun away whether it's facing down reflecting the heat of our fire back to us guys there's a lot of ways you can use this tarp again Test your gear before you rely on it. If you have to, buy another one. Make modifications to it 100%. Appreciate everything you do for the channel. If you haven't already, smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, and as always, when you aim for survival, don't miss.